let's talk about vegetable pests. All right. Specifically, let's talk about squash pests. Sure. Yeah. I brought a squash plant here today okay. just to show you. We often use transplants, put them into the garden, and guess what? <laughs> the insects are just waiting uh -huh. for these plants, uh -huh. okay? And one thing we often see attacking the leaves are these little cucumber beetles. Yes. So they can smell a squash plant pretty far away, right. and they <laughs> zoom in on it. So many times you'll see the leaves just tattered. So one thing I might suggest, there's a thing called a floating row cover mm -hmm. or cheesecloth, something like that. You right. can actually cover tender plants, but still let the light in, but kind of exclude these pests. Okay. And then that way you don't have to use so much insecticide because otherwise they, they could eat the plants almost to the ground. Wow, because they pretty much what, skeletonize the leaves for yes, the Yeah, they look all skeletonized. You can see right. feeding wow. between the vein or even you know, more feeding than that. Okay, all right. Uh, another thing, once a, you might want to keep the row cover on for a while because we have other pests that will get on squash. Uh, squash bugs overwinter mm -hmm. around your garden. Uh, a good thing to do is lay down flat boards around the edge of your garden. Lift those boards up in the spring, you'll see the overwintering squash bugs will be there. You can just tap those boards into a bucket of soapy water ah. and get rid of them because they're going to move into the into the garden and start laying their bronze color eggs. Yes. So if you those. see those yeah. eggs, Chris, what do you do with them? Get them off. Yeah, you squish yeah. them with your yeah. uh, forefinger and your thumb and just crush them. <laughs> squash them. Or, or right. tear off the part of the leaf that they're on. Right. Because those are gonna uh, give rise to the little nymphs and they're gonna be little gray bugs. Okay. And before you know it, you can be covered up with squash bugs. Ow. Another pest we have uh, is called the squash vine borer. It's a clear wing moth borer. It's related to dogwood borers and peach tree borers. Okay. It's a red moth. And most moths fly at night. This one flies during the day. Mm -hmm. It likes the bright sunshine. And it's, once that squash starts you know, trailing out, growing a little bit, it's gonna lay its eggs on the vine. Okay. So until the plant maybe it is just starting to, it's gonna take a while for the squash plant to start blooming. Up till then, keep that floating row cover on it so it doesn't lay an egg because the caterpillar that arises from that egg will tunnel into the vine, mm -hmm. devour it from the inside, and about the time you have squash producing, the vine might just die. Wow, just collapses. Uh, right. Now when you have yeah. this, uh, try not to put the, the, the row cover over the flowers. Okay. If it starts blooming, you gotta have an entryway for the bees to pollinate it. Okay. Squash bees and other native bees. Okay. Now what if somebody doesn't want to use those means? What do they want to use? I mean, there in are insect insecticides. There are insecticides you could treat with uh, uh, insecticide with a midocloprid in it for the squash, and you could do that right at planting. Wow, and really? that, that totally protects it. Wow. I mean, you can't even see any feeding damage. So, but some people don't want to use that, right, but sure. almost all the commercial squash produced has, has insecticide like that. It's a systemic, it's taken into the plant. And so it won't hurt your lady beetles and other insects that might just land on the plant. Right. As long as they're not feeding, it's not going to hurt them. Okay. And guys, too, for the squash bug, going back to that, practice good sanitation would be something else you would recommend as well? Yeah, cleaning up uh, debris and stuff yeah. around the garden. But uh, putting those boards down, they're going to need a place to overwinter. Fence okay. rows and yeah. pla overgrown places like that. Same for, you know, Colorado potato beetles would do the same thing on potatoes. They move out from the weedy areas back into the garden. Wow. Yeah, so. And these are considered to be the major pests of the squash. Yeah, right? that's, squash that's the, the main thing. Yeah. I think the worst thing, truthfully, has to be that squash vine borer because yes. it can kill yes. the whole vine. Yes. So uh, we can use insecticide sprays for that, but it's difficult because you have a plant that's blooming at the same time, and you really don't want to spray the flowers when, when a plant's blooming because sure. that could hurt the point. bees. That's a good point. So you have to be very careful and maybe spray the base and up till where, stop where the blooms are. You okay. know, you don't want to spray. Blooms. We have a publication, uh, uh, UT Extension Publications. It's called "You Can Control Garden Insects." You might want to check that out it is a good online. Publication. Yeah, it has it, it has some pictures of what the insects look for, and also control recommendations. Okay. And also some on the beneficial insects. Doc, we're glad you're here. That's good stuff. All right, thank you, Chris. Thank you. We can tell you love this stuff. Oh, it's great. <laughs> What's better? <laughs> thank you. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.